Tiffany's nursery is clean. I'll show you guys the finished product. Do you know what happened to Janae yesterday? Yeah. She had to get shots. Three times. One right here, and one right here, yeah. and one right here. Yeah, she's doing pretty good though. I know her legs are sore. It is crazy hot out here today. It's like in the high 90s, but with heat index, which includes the humidity and what it actually feels like outside, it's up to 110, so we're actually under an excessive heat warning. Hey Caleb, what is humidity? It's stuff that makes you sweat. It does? It does make you sweat? More. It's the liquid in the air, the moisture, and on those days you cannot forget deodorant. So I grew up in the Midwest and in the South, and there's a lot of humidity there, so I'm used to it, so it doesn't bother me very much. Jeremy grew up in Arizona where it's much drier heat, and so I think he feels the effects of humidity a lot more. But here's the poll question for today. Do you prefer a humid heat or a dry heat? Let us know up here. So Amber's been making these bracelets and teaching the kids and helping the kids work on them. I made this one. So here's Elise's anklet that she made. I love the colors you chose, babe. Looks awesome. They're my favorite colors. Yep, it's like a navy blue, a mint, and a pink. So I pumped some milk for Janae, and I'm nervous that something might be wrong with it, and so I want Jeremy to taste it, but he won't! He's refusing to taste it! No! I am not just drinking it. I can smell it. Just stick your finger in there and just taste it. It it's smells just milk. fine. It's just milk. I'm not testing it. Come on. Yuck. So we had some friends invite us over for a sprinkler morning of fun in their backyard. So that's where we're headed right now. Ah! Whoa, that's serious. You love ice. What do you think of the snow cone? That's enough. Thank you. You are welcome, Miss Laura. So now we're headed home for lunch and to see Janae. Janae stayed home with Amber, which it's been so nice having Amber here, but Amber's actually leaving today. So sad. It's time to say goodbye to Amber. We have loved having Amber with us. It's been such a blessing, and she's just cool to hang out with and talk to as well. We're going to miss you. I'll miss you guys. Hugs! Love you, buddy. Love you, too. So sad. I'll miss you, too, Lisa. I love you. Oh. Oh. I love you, Laura. Thank you. I'll miss you. I'll miss you. I'll miss you more. I'll miss you more. You're going to be like three inches taller than I see you. I think I'm going to be as tall as Isaac next time. All I know is this girl's going to be huge. You're going to be so big. You're going to miss Amber. <laughs> She and Amber have been good friends. Amber takes amazing care of her. Bye, Goober. Bye. You give her a good smile. Say goodbye, Amber. Aww. Don't go! Don't go! Don't go! <laughs> That's not the reaction I wanted. <laughs> she can sense it. She knows this is going to be sad. <laughs> Alright, so I'm taking Amber now up to the airport. It is time for Janae to move out of our bedroom and into her own space, which in our family, what we do is we have the babies move into our master closet. It's right off of our bedroom. It's a nice big space with a fan and an air vent and a window. I mean, trust me, she's fine in there, but that's what functions as our little nursery, and I love it. I love it because she's really close to us, far away from the other kids who could wake her up or bug her. Since our reunion, we haven't cleaned our van and it's super dirty, so we're gonna clean it now. Isn't it fun when it bubbles up? Watch this. Ah, uh, it goes 
so far. Well, the room is done. My closet is clean, or should I say Janae's nursery is clean. I'll show you guys the finished product. The line can... Where are we headed? Okay, <laughs> Lisey, give us the grand tour. So, this is where mom's clothes are, and dad's clothes are, and then we have mom's dad's shoes, and then mom's shoes, and then we have Socks and then Janae's clothes and a pair of shoes and Janae's bed. And then we're gonna lay her down. Oh, is we're gonna lay her down? Not on the floor, we're gonna lay her in her bed. I think we should have sleepovers. Me and Laura. You this and Laura can sleep in here? The girls room. All right, and you guys will wake up in the middle of the night and take care of her? Yeah. You guys but are awesome. The only time We'll get up and give her to you is when she's hungry. It's really fun being in this little closet and remembering all the adventures this closet has had. It was first just a closet, then it was Laura's nursery for like two years, then it was Jeremy's office. I don't know if you guys remember when Jeremy worked out of here. We had a desk and everything back there. And now it is Janae's room. So I am very grateful for this little room and for the fact that Jeremy and I don't own very many clothes. You know, none of our kids have had official nurseries, except for maybe Isaac for a couple months one time. He slept in his own room, but it's been okay. Like it hasn't bothered me that we don't have a special nursery all cute and decorated for them. Like they have a space to sleep and they are warm and they are comfortable and they are right where they need to be and they're loved and that's what matters. So Janae is currently taking the longest nap that she has ever taken and I'm taking that as the sign that she really likes her new bedroom and hopefully that means she'll do better at night. I can only hope, fingers crossed. So with CVX Live coming up, I've been doing a little bit of shopping to get the kids a few new things to take with us and they're trying them on right now. All right, what do you think of this one, Lise? I like it, but it's kind of hard to get out of it. Is it hard to get on? So Elise was telling me how hard the shirt was to get on and off over her head. Turns out there was a button in the back, so the problem solved. Oh, this is a nice shirt. I want to wear it to see if it live. I think I need to like tuck this in when we go. I think that might look a little nicer and then get a tie too. Oh, you think a tie would look nicer? You're going to dress up for CVX Live, huh? Strike a pose. Strike another pose. Ooh, fancy. <laughs> <laughs> I love those colors on you, Caleb. I think this one might fit me a little better. I think that shirt does match your eyes. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I like it, but I think I'll wear like um, some of my normal shorts with these. Do you not like the shorts? I like them, but they just are too minty. Oh, like you're wearing all mint? Yeah. I love mint. Me too. What do you think of this one? I like it. You'd be happiest in like workout clothes the whole time, wouldn't you? I like, yeah. You want to wear those kind of shorts and yeah. like play shirts? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when I was out shopping, I was looking at a bunch of different athletic shirts and they had all sorts of different sayings on them and I loved all of them, but one of them stood out above the rest and it was this one. It says, this girl has heart. And it immediately reminded me of this girl <laughs> because Elise has such a big heart. I just, I love you. I like it. Okay, what do you think of this one? I love it. I love the texture. So Lisey, which of the shirts was your favorite? Well, if you could only choose one, which one would you choose? All of them. Okay, okay. So the water party at our house is at seven o'clock tonight, and I just finished dinner, but I did it. Chicken pesto penne casserole, clover leaf rolls, mixed veggies, and strawberries. Let's do it. In other news, you ate your dinner in eight minutes. Time for dinner, too. That's so cool.
Oh, it's so good. <laughs> I'm a mean host. After the water balloon fight, I made them all go and pick up the water balloon pieces. Popsicle time. How's the popsicle? Yes. Well, tonight I am out swimming, training for a triathlon that I'm doing in one month. And I'm excited about it and nervous about it, but swimming's my favorite part, so this is gonna be fun. Good night, Jay House out. Look at that thing! Oh, that's us! I've never been on this dream before, that was so exciting!